There's an old English saying that goes, those that do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Have you ever sat back and wondered what event led up to the First World War? For those of you that are history students, you know this. Back in 1914, the heir to the Austro-Hungarian Empire, Mr. Franz Ferdinand, along with his wife, they were both killed, assassinated, by a young nationalist on the streets in Sarajevo. That one event, as seemingly insignificant as it was, that event set off a chain reaction that gave the world the catastrophic World War I. And, to be honest with you, it, it also bled into World War II. My point is this. One man, one man with an act that, that seemed insignificant caused a chain reaction that led to the First World War. Why am I saying this? I said all of that to say this. The man we know in our country as Chilufia Tayali has the potential to spark a tribal war in this nation, the likes of which we have never seen. As insignificant as that man is, he has the capacity, the ability, the wherewithal to spark a tribal war in this nation and the war will not even be traced back to him. I'll give you an example. If you take, for, for instance, a match, a matchstick, a single matchstick, and you strike it, in and of itself, it is nothing. I can snuff it out. But you take the same matchstick, and when you strike it, and you throw it in a drum full of petrol, boom, apocalypse. A few months ago, I kept telling you that Chilufya Tayali is a clear and present danger to the peace of this nation. Some of you think that he's a joke. Some of you think that he's a clown. Let me tell you when I knew that this man was a danger to our peace. The moment he mentioned Vespas, when Vespas died uh, a couple of years ago, he foolishly wrote an article where he said, Vespas died because she belonged to a political party a particular opposition party. In that moment, I knew that this man was dangerous. That was the first time I called him up and I said, Batayali, if you want under body vestas, reverse it. How do you think her parents feel when you talk like that? He was so angry with me, he hung up the phone. And now fast forward to today, this man that calls himself a public lawyer, and incidentally, Mr. Tayali, if you truly want to be a lawyer, go and earn a degree. Go to school. Don't sit there and call yourself a public lawyer when you are not. You degrade and you water down. You compromise that prestigious office of a lawyer when you call yourself a public lawyer, when you know full well that you are not. A public lawyer. And so here it is, folks. Be careful with this man. This man must be contained because I'm telling you, mark my words, Chilufya Tayali will spark and he will cause a tribal war in this nation. And he must be stopped. He must be contained. He must be caged. <laughs>